Welcome back to the channel. I got the van up on the lift. I got a growling noise. I can't seem to uh, figure out where it's at. Uh, I'm gonna check and make sure it ain't a front wheel burn. Um, I'm also gonna check the grease in the rear end, or the oil in the rear end. A lot of people call it grease because uh, it's so heavy. 90 weight probably, or it could be that, uh, what is it, 65, 90 synthetic or whatever, but uh, yeah, go try and find that growl. <laughs> I was just walking around the van a while ago when I went to get in it. I'm like, somebody ran into my van. Look. It's been a while. It's just rusty. Uh, the uh, broke, this, broke this piece of molding off the top and shoved this uh, corner of this bumper back a good bit. But that's, that's rusty. I bet that happened while it was out of my sight this winter for th over three months, uh, sitting at a garage somewhere. Because that, uh, I mean, that kind of looks like, uh, you yeah, know, that looks like, uh, that don't look like another car. That's actually dented. And that's actually pretty heavy metal. And it's, uh, the way the scratches are, uh, I don't know what that was. Anyhow, <laughs> I hadn't seen it till today. So, uh, let's, uh, let's shake these wheels and spin them and see what we feel and see and hear. That one sounds good. I'm actually pretty surprised. You know, this is just those, uh, what they call them, the cassette wheel bearings. Uh, it's the hub, the uh, bearing, and all built together. And this van has been severely overloaded ever since I've owned it. It's 100 and, 130 some miles, 130,000 some miles. Uh, and it's the original wheel bearings. Knock on wood. Gotta find some wood. Oh. oh, there we go. Check this one. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong there. All right, let's uh, let's go on up, and we'll check the oil in the rear end. <clears throat> Leland, you got to get you one of these, buddy. <laughs> you got to get one. You know, Leland, you ought to check, man. Uh, all you need is, what, a 7,000-pound lift to put your pickup on, your your wife's F SUVs? That ain't, that ain't a very big lift, and you might be surprised at how cheap they actually are. I want to look into it, Leland. You might, you might have your lift before you're not. As long as you got a building tall enough to put it in. Because I think if you can't get your vehicle six feet off the ground, then why bother? So I built this building with 16 foot tall ceilings, which actually ended up being about two feet too tall. Because uh, the people that I bought the building from helped me design it, said that it would have to be that tall to get this 10 and a half foot van six feet off the ground. Uh, yeah, there's they's a good four foot uh, between the side of the van at the top and the uh, top of the building. So it could have easily been two feet shorter, maybe three, but 
I didn't want to chance it because I didn't want it to be too short. <laughs> that would have been really bad. So I'm going to throw a couple jack stands under here real quick and uh, check this uh, rear end. Because this lift is actually, uh, it's a 12,000 pound lift. The van probably weighs, hopefully it's back down to around 12,000 pounds because it used to be a lot heavier than that. But it took all that weight out of it. So I'm hoping it's around 12,000 pounds, but still, you know, the, the lift is at max capacity. So I always throw a couple jack stands under it when I'm going underneath the vehicle, just to keep from falling on me. And can you imagine, I mean, fall on me, my old hard head hit the underneath of it, tear my van up. That would be bad, right? Yeah, that'd be really bad. Hear all the crunching. <laughs> Wind's been blowing leaves in here all winter. <laughs> it's been a while since I since I swept them up and got them out of here. Let me go grab a tool. Let's see how tight this sucker is. I think I may have only had this plug out one time. I had a leaky wheel seal one time years ago. I wasn't bad off. And I might have had this plug out one time to uh, put some oil in it then. It ain't low. I was able to touch it with my pinky. The magnet looks good. Nothing on the magnet. I don't know what all that ground's all about. Maybe it's my imagination. I don't know. I've sure been a here in here lately. For the last week or so. I don't know. Let's see if I can spin the rear end. See if I hear anything. That probably ain't gonna help. I should put it in this one. Yeah, it ain't gonna tell me nothing. Well, let's just go do a good visual inspection. Y'all wanna come along? Oh, should've got my hard hat. Done bump my head once. <laughs> Beats me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I haven't said anything, but uh, there won't be any spring hike uh, this year. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe next month. I might go out for a long weekend, try it, but the training and the stretching just didn't go as well as planned, and uh, I'm just not ready. So I'm not gonna go, because I'm just gonna be miserable and I know it would be absolutely way too much TMI, but there's a personal thing I can't do. I'm too stiff and uh, just be hard to, hard to uh, take care of myself in the woods. It's hard enough in my own, well, I ain't gonna go into it, TMI. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna look around here a little bit more and uh, put this thing back on the ground and going to the house it's been been a long day it's been a long week a sick monday sick sunday sick monday uh didn't go didn't even go leave a house monday and uh had a pretty tough day yesterday and a real tough day today long day it's already been almost 12 hours and uh i've had about enough for today so i'll be going to the house real soon and i'll do a little bit of mechanic work right there i'm gonna put a rear end in my recliner so catch y'all later